G'day, mate. Great to see you here again. I gather you're looking for some information about how to use or import PSD files with all their layers into Fusion. So let's get into it. Okay, guys, I don't want to waste any time with this one, so let's just get straight to it. The easiest way to do this is in your timeline. Now, it can be an empty timeline. It can be in a project timeline. It's just dependent on what you're working on. But the, the easiest way, well, the only way to actually bring in layered PSD files into Fusion is to go into your effects library, go down to the toolbox, open up effects, and you'll find two, two effects there. One is the adjustment clip. We're not doing that we're going to grab the Fusion Composition. Now, this is a new kind of thing that they've put into Resolve recently. And what it actually does is it creates a blank Fusion Canvas. So it's completely separate from going through from the edit window into Fusion or creating a new Fusion Composition and, and doing it that way. You actually have to grab it from the effects uh, bin to make this work. It's a little bit strange. Now, when you drop it in, automatically it's going to come in at like five seconds long, uh, depending on what your frame rate is that you've got set in your project window will depend on how many frames that is. I only want one frame because I'm just going to use this for this demonstration to create a thumbnail for this video for YouTube. So I'm just going to jump forward one frame and then I'm going to go Command B to cut the composition. So I'm just going to get rid of everything that I don't want and then I'm going to go into my Fusion Composition, my Fusion tab. And now once I'm in my Fusion tab, what you'll actually see here is I have just a media out in there. There's nothing else in there. There's no media in the, in the project uh, bin, nothing. It's just this. It's completely empty. Now to bring in the PSD file, I don't want to go and grab it from my media pool here and then click and drag it down. And I'll show you why after I show you the correct way to do it. So what we want to do here is go up into our Fusion tab in the main menu at the top of the screen. We're going to click on that and go down to import and you'll see a whole bunch of things here, but one of them is obviously PSD files. Click on the PSD. I've already pre-organized where mine are, so I'm just going to click on the PSD that I want to open. And once I click it, it just imports it and bang, voila, it's done. All the layers are there, voila, beautiful. Oh, but look at this. As it comes in, it doesn't actually show you a picture of what you've imported. So you have to grab on the bottom node, you'll see there's a little gray one on mine. It's a uh, normal five. And if I just click and drag that up to the input of the media out, and just wait for a second because it takes a little bit to load, you'll see that my PSD file is now showing up. And if I just click on any of these layers here in my inspector, I now gain control over those layers in the inspector. Now, I can't make changes to them like what you would in Photoshop because essentially they're baked layers, right? You can't change the properties inside each layer. So you've got to get whatever you're bringing in from Photoshop correct first, and then you can put it into here. But you could also do a bit of a you know, a bit of fudgery if something's wrong, you could jump back to Photoshop, fix something and then update the file and it would update here in automatically in uh, Fusion. Now, I wouldn't recommend to do that. I think you should just get it right and move on each step, step, step. But sometimes things do happen. What you really have is on and off controls. So you can turn on and off a layer so you can see how I've masked myself there. But really what I want to do in this is I want to not use this text down here which says don't skip this step, but you sh <laughs> which you shouldn't do <laughs> for this. So I'm just going to break the uh, connection here and I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to do shift space. Well, no, I'm not going to do shift space because I don't want to do transform. I just want to do a text. So I'm just going to drop in a text layer. I'm going to connect that to my normal five and I'm just going to go over here. Now, this is where I do gain control over what I want. So what I'm going to write here is how to use PSD files in Fusion. Okay, now I can see over here it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit long and my lettering spacing's all of my tracking's a little bit off and my line spacing's a little bit out. So what I want to do is just bring my line spacing down. I'm just going to grab it in Fusion and I'm just going to move this up here so it's nice and clear. I want it to be really, really, really simple. And there you go, that's it. 
It, it's that easy. Now, if you are looking at doing more advanced tutorials in Fusion, then, you know, there's more things that you can do, like you can animate, shrink, grow, you can... So if I just wanted to uh, change the sizing of this, I could do shift command and space bar. I could type in transform and get, put in a transform. And now I can actually totally change my size independently from the actual text node itself. I can change the aspect so I can stretch it. I can move where it's at around a little bit more so I can actually make the text grow a lot taller than what it what I was writing in before and I can make it a little bit bigger like that which makes it a little bit clearer what we're talking about when you look at the thumbnail so it just goes to show I can now animate that because I have the animation controls over here with my keyframes which is a lot more advanced and it's not something that I really want to go into right now this is just about opening PSD files in Resolve now here's the hot tip let's just get rid of all of this stuff, okay? So it's like we've never imported a, the PSD file. So what we've done is we've set up our Fusion composition over here in the edit window, and then we're gonna go into the Fusion tab. Now, this is why I said I'll show you this later, because here essentially you have your PSD file. So this is like you've normally just imported your media into your project media pool, and then gone from your edit tab into your Fusion tab, which is normally how I work in Fusion, but if you grab this PSD file and you drag and you drop it down, oh, look at that. It doesn't unpack it. It doesn't unpack it. And if you try and figure out a way to unpack it, there is no way to unpack it. Now, if you delete that and then you go, oh, okay, I know how to do it now. I'll go up to, uh, I'll go up to my uh, Fusion tab and I'll import that PSD and I'll click it and I'll bring it back in. Boom. There you go. You have it and it's there, and you can connect it. So I find that a little bit strange that you have to do it through the import method, and it doesn't just work straight in by dragging and dropping it down. I think they should just add a right click to unpack the layers. I think that would be really handy, but hey, they haven't. So that's the way that you've got to do it. And then once you do that, you can uh, gain all this control over all of your layers, you can move stuff around, you can resize it, you can animate it. It's, it's an absolutely fantastic tool, especially when you don't really have a quick way of doing this stuff inside of Fusion. It takes a little bit longer. So a good way to save time is to build something that you want to animate. Say it's complicated like this and you want to do a whole bunch of layered stuff moving around or you just want to create objects that are floating in the air uh, and you're going to create those files in Photoshop. This is the way that you can unpack those files uh, those layered files into a fusion composition. It's the only way to bring them in. So I thought I'd make a little quick tutorial. It's not ended up that quick, but that's a quick tutorial from me to you. And I hope that it comes in handy guys and see you in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>